In this video, I'll show you how to make a Deck the Halls Christmas ringtone using just Generate Tones in Adobe Audition. So it's really easy to do. Even easier if you get my music production presets at mrc.fm slash presets, but consider this video a behind the hood, how to make a Deck the Halls with Bells of Holly kind of ringtone. Uh, so what are you gonna need? Well, first of all, you are going to need the musical notes to Deck the Halls, which I have actually on my dual screen ready to go for this. You're also gonna need to know about scientific pitch notation. There's a great article on Wikipedia. If you search for it, it's fantastic. And it will show you all the different frequencies that correspond to all the different notes in all the different octaves. Okay, let's dive in. With that aside, I'm gonna go into effects. I'm gonna go into generate tones. I've already started a new audio file. And of course, uh, the scientific pitch notation lets us know that 440 hertz is an A in the fourth octave. Middle C is 261.63 hertz. And we're gonna use a lot of different frequencies to make this. So first of all, we're gonna start off with a long note. I'm just gonna keep them uh, relatively decent durations. So this is uh, three quarters of a second. And we're going for a G to start with a G. So that's going to be, according to my table, 392 hertz. So we'll generate that. It could sound something like this. Okay, or we could go for uh, something a little different by changing the shape of the waveform a little bit. So we get something like that or something like that or something like a mix whatever you fancy, doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm picking this one. So we're starting off with a G, and then we're going to, this is a quaver, a quaver, a shorter note, so we're going to effects, generate tones again, and this time we'll make the duration quarter of a second, and we're going for an F note now. F is, I'm gonna copy and paste here, because uh, there's some heavy lifting, 349.23, so pop that in. Okay, generate that. And I'm just gonna go through now and generate the rest of the tones really quickly. Okay, so far I've got to this point. Okay, not too bad, is it? Sending like a, a really old computer game. Uh, then I'm gonna take some of the notes I've generated, seeing as they repeat later on. Uh, so then we go D, E, and then C. So I'm just gonna put, this is E, D, but I'm gonna just put this here. And then I'm gonna effects reverse, so we get something like this. Okay, and then the final C, and then I'll call this a day. Uh, pasting in at the end here, but um, and we got. That's not half bad, although there's, it's a bit clicky in between the notes, so I can iron that out by kind of zooming in and just doing a few little chops here. I mean, this is real basic rough stuff. If I was in the multi-track, I'd be, I'd be cross-fading, I'd be doing all kinds of nice perfectionist things, but just for this example, uh, so that I don't waste too much of your time, I'm going to just make some little chops there to get rid of the choppiness. Uh, looks like there's still a bit of choppiness there in the spectral frequency, that's better. Oh, I'm feeling really festive now. Uh, and then what I might do is I might actually go ahead and insert some silence at the end, like so. I might increase the amplitude of this using normalize to make it really loud. Maybe that's a bit too loud. And then we're going to effects. We'll, of course, add a little bit of studio reverb. Why not? Uh, let's make that last for three second decay. And we got something like this. Let's have a listen. Oh, it sounds like distant festive cheer. And then you just save it as an MP3 or wave or whatever you fancy, and then upload it to your phone, and you are gonna feel festive in no time using only generate tones, scientific pitch notation, and a few musical notes from Deck the Halls. Merry Christmas. <laughs>